Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Just got back from my cruise. Thank you guys for the the warm welcomes, the messages, the best wishes, all of that. Our family had an absolute blast, but I just got off the plane uh, two days ago, drove my butt up here to Elkhart, Indiana to show this specific RV because this is going to take the RV market by storm. This is the 2024 Wildwood Grand Lodge 44 view. Now this RV might look extremely familiar to you. The 42 view, the one that outsold every destination RV on the entire market last year. They listened to all of the complaints, all of the suggestions, things that they could change to make it better. And boy, did they listen. So it took everything that's great about it and then made it better. So on the 42 view, a lot of people wanted a half bath because you only had access to one big bathroom over there and your bedroom is on the other side of the camper. Well, now they added in that half bath. They added in a third axle. All of these windows, people down south, they wanted a little extra airflow. So they changed that. They reworked the system to add in 40 extra percent of basically airflow power. That's going to be that airflow system, which I'll get into that here a little bit in this video. But there is a lot to love about this. Hit that like and subscribe button for me, please, please, please. I'm teaming up with Funtown RV so that way I can sell you these, give you some deals on wheels. And, uh, you know, get this thing cooking. So if you guys are in the market for an RV, my contact information will be in the top right of the screen, as well as down in the description, along with hopefully the specifications as I get them. I don't know if they're out yet, but the second they are, I will add that down in there. Uh, what is going on here? How do I straighten this out? There you go. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Again, it's the 2024 Wildwood Grand Lodge 44 view. You got the cascading waterfall island right there with the accent lighting, just looking really nice. They also have the, it's a true shiplap. So each piece is put in on its own. It's a true wood, which is pretty cool. And again, that waterfall. So this is all going to be solid surface countertops, even on the side. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. You got a big, massive super slide right over here. So I love seeing that with a huge L-shaped couch for extra sleeping. You got some great storage. They reworked where they put the refrigerator because before it was right here, but now it's got that half bath, again, right next to your bedroom. They also reworked uh, the beds up there, which I'll show you here in a second too. A lot of great stuff going, but one of my favorite things, as silly as it sounds, is you have all these big, tall, open windows. You know, that's great. That's the obvious. That's what you can see right away. But just like the little things, you know, the simple things, like how in the world are you going to reach up there and close that shade? So they still have the power shades, which I love. So right here, are all your controls, each one you can click. This is going to be in that down sode. But if you don't want the upper shade two to go down, you know, you can put that up. And then right here, look at that. So all at once, whichever ones you pick, will go down you know, just a flick of a light switch. So I think that's pretty darn neat. A little dorky, but I wanted to push that out. You also have the emergency exit. So pull, push, and plop. You can get out in a hurry. This one will also, you know, you can kind of drop it down. So that way you can make that kind of like that pie window. You know, toss some food in and out. Make it part of the, uh, you know, part of the experience. You make it part of the 44 view. So right over here on this island, you are going to see you got the farm style sink. You got a little drying rack right here. Single stainless steel bowl got the high-rise faucet hitting those dishes from all angles led lights even come around there for that accent lighting but then you're also going to see you got some storage right under there you know for uh, maybe some cleaning supplies or something like that but you're also going to get five stools along with an outlet right there i just think that's really nice so instead of having the dinette they have kind of a more of a homey central kind of little hangout right there so you can take advantage of these big old windows. And even at night, it kind of aids into that nightlife. I could totally see you putting a cutting board over that, maybe playing some flip cup or some apple juice pong, you know, something of that nature. You also got the little pendulant lighting right there in that cool little, little prism box, just looking sharp. Really tall, high, open ceilings being what it is, you're primarily gonna be plopping this down on a lake somewhere. But I'm six feet tall with some average size arms. And you can see I can't even reach the top. You also got those wood accent beams going on. I love that. Look how big that slide is and how big these windows are even on the off camping side. So whether you have a view, you know, on this side or on that side, you are good to go. That's also got that old Dracula shade. You know, it's part of the ones that's on that automatic roller, the big L couch. So right here, you can make an extra sleeping spot basically makes one big square. 
And then you have your TV, which is on a Televator system, along with the Furion soundbar, which has zones one and two. That's going to be inside, outside, so you can play music on both sides. HDMI port, USB, electric fireplace that puts out 5,500 BTUs of heat. It essentially means it'll heat up 500 square feet of RV. So in an RV this size, that'll be a lot of the heat that you need for you know most of your chilly days until you get to the real cold, cold. Now heading back up into here, I want to show you that half bath, but I also want to show you a couple changes that they made up front. In order to make that half bath, they had to switch the refrigerator right there, but they had to find a place to really kind of shorten that up. On the 42 view, you had, you know, that kind of that pantry. Now they had to go away with that, but they added in this, which is a really sleek kind of hidden look. I could see my wife absolutely loving this. Put some mesh netting right there, you know, and you are good to go. But of course this stays stationary. So whatever you put in there is really nice and secure, you know, anyway. Uh, but I could totally see that becoming, whether it's books, food, you know, whatever, just a lot of good stuff going in. Plus it's just cool. I mean, I don't, for no other reason other than the fact that it's just cool to pull out your pantry. I just think that's a really nice feature to have. You got plenty of countertop space in and around the industry's largest oven, the Insignia. So you're gonna see you have your four stovetop burner. You got Thanksgiving coming on. You know, you got mashed potatoes, you got some, some green beans, some gravy, whatever else is there is that I can't think of right now. But then you also got a place where you can put a full size turkey. So that is freaking awesome. Have Thanksgiving out there at the campground, at the lake spot. You know, you are good to go. You're also gonna have three pull-out drawers, the top one being the smallest. You also noticed soft clothes. Love seeing that. Fancy pants look in microwave. This is going to be your LG. Comes with everything that you could possibly need. Popcorn, pizza, and potato mode. <laughs> uh, gosh. I'll tell you, people hire me because I'm friendly. That is for sure. Good old potato mode. You got some more storage here above the refrigerator, but this is going to be the LG, the big boy, the big old residential. You can fit a week's worth of food in here. Absolutely no problem. This is nicer in the refrigerator that's inside of my home for sure. And then down here, you've got a partitioned off bottom for the freezer, a little ice maker and another drawer right there. So you can really put, you know, all of your, um, you know, kind of all your stuff. I'm going to call right now. Let me decline that said potential scam on it too. So that's the worst. Trying to interrupt my video on a potential scam. So right in here, this is going to be your half bath. So you got a little place where you can hang up a couple things, countertop space. And then you got the old porcelain foot flush stone right there. So on the initial rip, it kind of looks like on the small side, but you know, me being somebody that likes to sit down on these toilets, you know, and I'm a bigger guy, six foot, 300 pounds. Well, after that cruise, probably like 310, but I'm going to get back down. Starting actually today, I'm going to the gym here tonight after I do some of these videos. But you can see, I've got enough room, prop my arm up. You know, this is round belly approved, absolutely no problem. This is a great feature to have right next to your bedroom. And this was probably the most complained about portion was not having a half bath. Because if you're sleeping this many people, you know, they want that half bath as opposed to just the one all the way down there on the end. So I really like that they listen to that. One piece spiral staircase as you go up into the reworked bunk room. So previously they had another bunk right up here, uh, but due to putting in the bedroom or the bathroom, they had to kind of go away with that. It's really not a problem. I did hear, you know, one of the reps told me something pretty cool that a, that a uh, customer did and something that I could really see myself doing with our kids. Cause we got four kids, you know, the three love to play video games, put a TV right here because you have the plugins, you got the King connect, but man, make that a little gaming center, put a little gaming chair right there, have a really great time, or make this kind of like a little movie theater nook. There's so much great stuff that you can do with that. And if you have kids, you know you need the storage anyway. So that is going to be great. This is going to be the control system uh, right there for your slide outs. You also got some lighting controls, your water pump, different areas where you can check your tank fills, suburban on-demand hot water heater. So I love seeing that. And they put the oversized, the big boy. And then you got the dimmers right here equipped with the RV airflow system. So that's what I was talking about that puts out an extra 40% output right there, which is pretty darn incredible. You got some extra storage with some good looking little totes right there, heading into an absolutely massive bedroom. So look at that. So right here, you got the east to west slide, but it's also going to be on the versatile. And if you're not familiar with it, you want to be familiar with it. This is a selling feature that's worth its weight in gold. It's got a 14 and a half inch lift right there. 
So when you're not using it, or maybe even when you are using it, maybe you could lift that up and put that in kind of movie mode. You know, I know at night we like to kick back and watch a movie. And I'm usually propping up like six pillows. The wife's complaining I stole her pillow. Uh, just to kind of sit back, relax, and watch a movie. You know, and now you can. You got a place to put a movie. You got windows all around. Again, they got the Dracula shade, so the light's not the problem. But the view, if you wall that off, you cannot get a view back. So I love these windows. I love the shades. I think it's just a nice, sleek look. Again, the solid surface countertops that matches throughout the camper. The appropriate plug-ins, your dresser drawers, right there. You got four of them. But having that extra tilt makes about that much of a difference you know when you're talking about floor space and kind of getting ready you also have some room for some storage here underneath as well flip it around another change for the 44 view is the fact of that they went with that on-demand hot water heater meaning they could use the switch around the electric a little bit so previously you can only use one fireplace at a time now you can use both so that is awesome you got one in the bedroom and the living room Big old closet storage. Bada bing, bada boom. You got places where you can hang it up. The little individual hanger, little nubs, little nubbly dubblies. On this side of the bed, you got a little countertop space, outlet, USB, windows on both sides so you can catch a nice breeze. And then you got some overhead storage there as well. And look how that's all hands free on the strut system. Can't wait to go back and see you, baby. I feel like after a week's cruise with the kids, you almost need a second vacation afterward just to take with your wife because, man, you get drained. Unlimited food, unlimited drinks, <laughs> and then unlimited uh, time for the kids, which is both a blessing and a curse sometimes, as we know as parents. All right, so we've already shown you all of this. Right over here, I think I pointed this out, but if not, again, TV on the Televator system, you can close that, lays flush, but you also got your speaker system, and then the fireplace, yeah, I think I did, I think I did. Right over here, you got the outlet, another solid surface countertop area with just a little bit of extra storage, maybe put some like blankets, you know, or something like that, fill it up with books, you know, whatever you want to do. And then you have your bathroom right next to your second entrance. This bathroom is absolutely huge. This is one of my favorite things about the last model was this bathroom. It just happened to be the only bathroom. Uh, but this is killer. You got tons of room. This is like perfect to like actually get ready. And if you got something going on at the campground and you want to actually get dressed, you know, maybe the wife's doing her hair, putting on some makeup. I can come in here and still not be in the way. You do have an area right here for a washer and dryer. Uh, this one's got it in, but if not, it's just an extra extra closet. So this is great for a little extra residential touch. You got a max fan right here, and then you got another uh, window right there as well. Massive shower with one of the fanciest shower heads you'll ever see. I love it when RVs put the shower head in there. I'm kind of a dork for this thing, and I don't know why, but it's got four ports that spray out water. I just feel like this thing would be so amazing to shower in. Um, I just think that's neat. And 300 pounds, you know, six feet tall. You got room for two if you want. Nice, large, spacious shower. You don't feel cramped up. You don't have to tape sponges to the walls, you know, just to take a functional shower. This is an actual shower. And then you got the Triglide glass series. So that way it opens up, you know, just a little bit wider. And you spin it around. You got plenty of storage below the sink. It looks nice. You got outlets. You got a big mirror for the old bowling guns. And look at that. Two storages like that. Can't beat it. Plus you got that little LED light right there just looking sharp. Helps give that, that nice little glow to it. Man, right when you walk out, boom. That is awesome. So directly across from the entrance, I like this too, how the stairs go straight up. And this is where they changed part of the front. It's the industry's largest loft. It's going to be 36 inches. You have a dresser, but on this side... They made it kind of more the adult side. So they don't have just the kind of the twin beds. They actually put in a, a camper queen. So right here, you got windows. Again, hopefully for a nice view there of the outside. An emergency exit if you need. Pull, push, and plop. But it's also the split queen. So if you need to, you can get it out. But then you have a dresser with outlets and USBs there as well. All right, I think that about wraps it up here for the inside portion of this tour. Again, this is the 2024 Wildwood Grand Lodge 
44 view. Hit that like and subscribe button. Share this with a buddy. You know, do something to kind of help me out. I'm trying to get things going with the new company here, and I want to come out with a bang. So like, subscribe, share, tell a friend, comment. Let me know what you think. But now let's go around the outside and kind of show you where everything is. This thing is absolutely beautiful, though. I sold so many of those 42 views. I can't even imagine what's going to happen with the 44 view. There's so many of these things just to just to go out and populate, you know, the RV industry. So now when we head around to the outside, uh, you're going to know from the outside, you can kind of indicate that it's a 44 versus a 42 because they put the black striping right there just to kind of give it a different outward appearance since, uh, you know, they look pretty much identical. Another indicator that you can see is the 42 view has two axles. This one actually has three. So three 6,000 pound axles. Again, dual entries. You got a little of that pie shelf, you know, right there. Marine grade exterior speakers. So that way you can play some music, you know, both inside and outside. Really enjoy, you know, kind of that, maybe the game life. Maybe some of the, um, you know, maybe you're watching like a college football game or something this time of year. But you can definitely do that right out here. And you also got your cable hookup along with your two outlets. And there was also a couple of complaints of pulling up some golf carts and wanting another place where you can charge it. So they went ahead and added in another outlet right here as well. Swinging around the front, this is going to be where you put your propane tanks. You can see those big open windows already, and you cannot see inside the camper, which is nice. So it helps keep some nosy eyes out. They also have these slide toppers, which are coming in standard, which is always a big time plus. Even that big guy right there gets one with that little support bar there in the middle. Right there, a little storage of Rooney. Can't beat it, can't beat it. Fresh water drain is going to be right here. You also got your city water connection and your fresh water connection. Stabilizing jacks. And this is going to be for the winterization here of your refrigerator. Won't get into that, but easy maintenance, easy access. You know, there's not really much, uh, much else to say about that. Again, you got the three axles. Can't stress that enough. That's just awesome to see. And then you also got your sewage holding tank, waste holding tank, and your sewer outlet connection, along with your bank, black tank flush, basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Your other dump valve right there, and then your low point drains, and then another dump valve right there as well. This is gonna be your 50 amp connection. Bring it out the back. You do have a cable and satellite port back here, but I think that about wraps it up, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button. I got a lot of great new models coming out. A whole parking lot full of them. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the 2024 Wildwood Grand Lodge 44 view. See you next time.